Hello and welcome. So today's video, I want to install a graphical user interface on my CentOS installation. I can show you. Uh, CentOS 7, I think, is was discontinued back in 2009. Uh, so. Uh, uh, ever since uh, I think their site website you cannot download the full ISO the only ISO that we were able to download uh, was uh, um, sent to s7 did not say core uh, I'm pretty sure about that so I can show you right there sent to s7 and then you have everything oh, I'm not so you have the DVD and then you have 2207 that I don't know what that, that mean uh, it's it's slighter slightly bigger ISO at uh, this one is at 4.39 uh, let me actually show you this one is at 4.39 and this one is at 4.42 so maybe it makes up for that ah, 2022 the timestamp hmm I probably will download it later on to play with it but uh, uh, for like the everything installer you can see it's a whopping 9.5 GB uh, I tried multiple uh, uh, the mirrors I am unable to download that one uh, <clears throat> so here we go we can uh, I reboot it and you see it's back to uh, just a prompt we're gonna log in and, and try to install the <coughs> GUI graphical user interface for that we're gonna update our system we're gonna install gnome package and then we're gonna install the uh, start the X window system that's basically it's a GUI and finally the gnome uh, desktop enable it and see if we are able to um, Get our desktop interface so let's get started the first thing i think it's uh, it's yum so it needs to be updated and it was yum let's try yum update oh Let me check that quickly. I'm used to Ubuntu. So apparently I was right. It's yum update. And that didn't work. All right, so let's back go back to our window here. Run the command with the proprietary temporary disable. All right, so I, I'm going to try to host. Oh, Let's try sudo yum update. Nope, it's the exact same thing. So let's try sudo yum y groups install. Desktop. Let's see if it, this works. All right, so I don't think so it's working. Let me actually see what's going on here. I cannot find a valid base URL. One of the configuration passages failed. Okay. Enough cache data to continue at this point. The only you can do is fail. There are a few things. work fixed. The contact apps get them to fix them all. Hmm. So I have to go and search this. What's going on? So I have uh, dug up some things, and you can see. All right, so I dug up a little bit. Yeah, I was unable to ping. What I've done is I've gone into my Proxmox and changed a few things. I uh, just want the hardware. A 
login incorrect I type reboot over there uh, and ENS 18 I have a YP address can I ping google.com yes I can all right so now we will be able to uh, let's first kill that so what was happening was that sorry about that I have a bad throat uh, so what was happening was that you can see on my hardware tab uh, let me pull it over here so on my hardware tab what I suspected was you see my Ubuntu let's go to uh, network and it says uh, virtual IO uh, para virtualized uh, it was exactly the same on my CentOS but then I suspected like uh, I was unable to ping google.com so I suspected I don't have an IP address when I checked the uh, IP IDDR I did not have one uh, so I thought I know for a fact that Realtek has some issues uh, with PFSense and it want an Intel uh, graphic card physical card or if you were to go and buy a mini PC so that clicked me maybe Linux it's very common that uh, some of the hardware is not supported so I thought let's change it to Intel and see when I did and rebooted my machine <coughs> I have my IP address connectivity so now if I try yum yup I keep writing yup yum update here we can see it's trying something uh, it, it's definitely uh, not the same thing what it did last time updates it's gonna take some time let me see the hardware we have given to this thing 4 GB memory 4 cores processor it looks good memory might be the issue we can try to give it more but then uh, <clears throat> I sh definitely should give it more uh, if I'm trying GUI uh, yes let's do yes so no or no all right I like the fact that it's just blindly saying no or yes to everything. And this might be the way this might be why uh, it just installed core and did not install anything else maybe it was unable to during installation it was unable to go online and uh, fetch packages uh, that's what my uh, I'm suspecting right now I'm gonna pause the video here it's just like going up not spitting any useful information for video all right so it's done uh, I hope it's done uh, before we do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to shut it down now and go back to the hardware tab and give it a bit of more memory I believe that is it not minimum and now we can go back in there and run it <clears throat> I keep getting these more and more I hope it goes to the right one all right so let's 
log in, I'm logged in. Let's try the free command. And you can see I have the new memory available right there. So it means it took the uh, memory update. Now, do we have yum upgrade here? Okay, good. So now we can try the other command that is to up the sudo yum y dash y groups install genome desktop it's pronounced nom desktop I hate it Again, it's thinking. No error message probably means that is it thinking or I <laughs> messed it up. Yes, I did. You can see there's a uh, apostrophe. I did mess it up. All right. Now. So that's why uh, that that's my biggest fear uh, that has kept me until now to do anything Linux because Linux is very unforgiving uh, with the commands. If you were to enter a wrong command, it will execute it, and there is no way to going back. Uh, that's why you you, you just I whenever I work with I try to copy paste commands uh, it works well but for some reason proxmox I cannot copy anything from my windows into proxmox so I have to type it and that's uh, in a production environment it's very unforgiving again it's uh, just spitting a lot of data that is not useful for the video let's pause it here uh oh that's not good it's saying trying other mirrors right there <laughs> so all right thanks god finally i it's done it says complete it took forever maybe 10 12 minutes all right so yeah uh, actually it took more than 15 minutes looking at the clock all right so let's go we're gonna go to the next step that is the initialization of x face echo session tilde all right no error means it was um, successfully executed so let's start the system CDL CDL set default graphical dot target system CDL set Default. removed symlink created symlink symbolic link all right let's try to reboot and see what happens i hope we get the um, gui to log in um all right i have my gui root uh last login oh i thought maybe it's an error so i have my gui let's go with english and next 
we are going to with English United States next privacy location services let's keep that open uh, connect to your online accounts I'm gonna skip it for now CentOS Linux getting started use Windows and workplaces with DOS so these are some videos that I can watch don't want to but this is too big for my taste right now I have a nice desktop terminal is there a way off all right I, I can figure that out later on but this was the process to install a GUI on top of your uh, server version of your, your CentOS I believe um, like everything was command line I'm gonna figure it out if, if I see something I will share uh, but let's wrap this video over here I hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one